So today we'll be doing a video on um, repairing this computer. It has a blown capacitor on what I'm guessing is the 5 volt rail. The reason I say that is because it's a 6.3 volt capacitor. <coughs> Symptoms were um, occasional random reboots with no blue screen. That generally indicates some kind of extreme failure. And then eventually what happened is it wouldn't boot and we were getting the FF on the BIOS code. <coughs> so that's uh, fault found. Pretty much what I did was took out every single piece of hardware except for the CPU and uh, kept trying to boot it and kept getting the fault found error so it wouldn't post. Then I did a visual inspection and found uh, a blown capacitor. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to start taking out um, all the components I can because I'm going to have to remove the motherboard. This is a bit of an older build. Uh, recently upgraded the graphics card. It's an old computer I had that I put um, some newer parts in for my brother about eight months ago. Kind of sat for quite a few years, but uh, yeah. So uh, this case is pretty horrible for cable management. Kind of did some modifications get a radiator to fit in it and get some airflow for it. But yeah. So. Just gonna start pulling things out. So unfortunately I couldn't find my solder paste, sorry, um, thermal paste, so it looks like I'm going to have to figure out a way to get, I'm going to have to remove the radiator as well. Alright, so always make sure those little, uh, you know, anybody's got any small things in there, take that out. Otherwise, you might break it off when you go to take the motherboard out. Sorry for the bad angles, guys. Uh, my tripod, my cheap tripod broke. I haven't had a chance to order a new one yet. <clears throat> but essentially, I'm just going to remove all the motherboard screws, so I'm just going to fast forward this, anyways.
so the motherboard has been removed. So that's the capacitor I'm talking about. You can see the other ones look pretty good, and except for that one. So get some light. That's the capacitor I was talking about. Sorry, I'm freehanding it right now. But um, if you're looking at the other capacitors, they're all flat. Um, most of them are pretty good brands, except for um, that one and that one. And they're both looking pretty bad. So I'll probably be changing both. Um, that one, it looks a little bumped on camera but it's actually flat well, I guess it has a little bit of a bulge so yeah I'll just change them both just to be safe they're the same type they're 6.3 volt 2700 microfarad they're 105 degrees celsius but um yeah we'll take a closer look once I get them out of the motherboard okay so I am a little worried about the replacement capacitors that I bought. Um, they are the same voltage and same capacity, but they are significantly larger. Well, I shouldn't say larger. They are fatter and shorter. So, I'm sorry, they are the same height. They are just quite a bit fatter. So, they might have to be lifted off the board a little bit. But, um, I got same voltage, same capacitance, um, low ESR, you know, 105 degrees Celsius. Hopefully these will uh, last a bit longer, but if not, I did order quite a few of them. So. so yes, I realize that I am using a very very cheap and terrible soldering iron but right now that's all i have um unfortunately it doesn't even work right because uh it couldn't even melt um, my own solder let alone that solder which does have a conformal coating on the motherboard so uh, i would have to have gotten it much hotter than the 25 watts that it was rated at and um, I'm pretty sure that it didn't, doesn't even go up to 25 watts, but so I struggled with it a bit, and then I eventually gave up and um, got it as hot as I could and cooled the capacitor out, and unfortunately, I had to put it back on in a very terrible way, but um, as you can see in the picture, it doesn't look very good. But I ended up redoing it with a better soldering iron and some better paste and it got on there much better and still works to this day and as you can see it now posts and that's just some kind of memory post because I took out everything but it's all good now.